All right, what's going on? It, it, it's 45 here, uh, continuing the uh, database tutorial. Now we're going to be doing the database file here. Um, a little, a little, little bit about that. What we're going to be doing is essentially creating an array, um, or rather, this is going to be doing a pointer to an array um, that's going to be holding all the employees' uh, input. It's going to have inputting from a file. Inputting from uh, user input, um, searching, removing, displaying, uh, sorting. Also, um, it's going to be dynamic. So usually, whenever you have an array, you have like int r like five or whatever. Then you populate it or whatever equals uh, whatever. Put numbers in there. But what this is going to do is essentially have a variable in there called capacity. And we're going to be able to, in our function, change capacity and change the size of the array so that we can essentially have as big of an array as we need. However, not allocate more memory than is required. So we're going to be doing that. Let's go ahead and jump into the class. Oh, well, actually, first we need to include um, the, employee the employee class because we're going to be using uh, stuff from that functions and uh, variables from that. Um, all right, so go ahead and create our class, database. All right, so do our public and private. Get back over there. So let's go ahead and let's get our private stuff done. We're going to have first in our private a void make underscore bigger. It's just going to resize the array. Um, we're going to have an int for capacity. And this is going to be the big part. Empl employee star data. Is this going to be each individual employee is going to store it in a pointer called data. And int for used, which is going to be a um, value for the amount of employees that are currently in the database. Let's get my semicolon. All right. So now let's go into the actual public functions. We're going to have a, as always, database, a, a default constructor. And with this, every time that you're using dynamic memory, like whenever you're making an arrays bigger, you're using stuff like new and delete which is allocating and deallocating memory whenever you're, you're doing that you need to have a deconstructor database no parameters with that and finally we're going to have a copy constructor for this which is essentially just going to copy um whole entire employees from one to another now we may or, we may or may not use um the copy constructors, they're just going to be there in case they need to be used, I guess. Yeah, this is, well, this is essentially going to copy whole entire databases. I misspoke before. It's not copying employees from one to the next. It's c copying entire databases. Now, we we do this const and at here. It's essentially, it's, it's const by reference. When you're passing huge things like classes, um... And if you didn't have this here, essentially what would happen is it would copy, it would make it a copy of the entire class to be passed into the function. But if you pass it by reference, it only passes the memory location of it, which basically is a lot smaller than copying the entire class. So it's just good just to do that whenever you're working with big things like classes or structures or whatever. So void, we're also going to have to overload some operators here. Operator equals const database at other. This is it's very similar to the copy constructor above. However, there are some small similar small differences. Um, I'll go over those whenever we're doing the implementation of the functions. Uh, void search. Standard string name. It's 
you're going to be searching for names. Yeah, basically it's gonna be searching for a specific name. All right, oops, I bumped the mic there, my bad. Void search underscore ID. This is gonna search for an employee by their ID number and ID. And void add. This is going to just add an uh, employee to the database const employee at EMP, whatever you want it, doesn't matter. Uh, void display all. This is going to display the entire array. Um, void remove standard string name basically it's just going to search the database for a name and then just delete that person if it has the name void save it's going to have a standard o stream o stream at outs Yep, it's just gonna handle the saving of the array of employees to a file. Void load standard I stream ins. Yep, you use have to use those by reference because you can't copy. You can't make a copy of an entire stream. You just have to pass the location of the stream. Uh, just it's just a, a rule with programming you have to do that void sort underscore name we're just gonna have a function for sorting the names or sorting all the employees by name Not court sort it's kind of late kind of tired here however I'm just gonna push through sort underscore salary And after I show you show you how to do the sorts, um, you can basically just sort it by any of the other um, variables. Uh, um, uh, either you can do it by ID number or address, even if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to do that, but um, yeah, that's about all that is required for the database class. Um, I think I'm going to just cut it off here. It's about around eight minutes for the video. But, uh, um, yeah, I'm just going to, in the next video, go over the implementation of all these functions. It's going to take a while. It's actually a pretty uh, intensive, it's, it's probably the most intensive part of the program, is implementing all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, push that to the next video. Um, uh, thanks for watching.